What's up? How you doing? Nice day to ride, huh? Yeah, well, this morning it was a little cold, but now it's good. Now it's good, right? Uh, now I got work. Now you got work. How's the bike running? Good? Yeah, it's running good, but it can use the uh, tune. Yeah, you feel it? Yeah, I mean, it's still popping. I haven't stalled out, but I can hear it popping more than it should. Gotcha. Also, I think my uh, gas mileage might be a little worse than it was before. It's probably running a little bit. Yeah. All right, that was Cam on his Dyna. He just came back from school. Now he's got to go to work. So today's video, I'm actually going to show you guys the different, I have three different baffles for the Chromeworks uh, slip-ons that I have on now. I don't have a full exhaust at the moment because uh, after I'm done with a stage two, when they could finally uh, dyno tune and uh, you know they have the tuning in place for the bike, that's when um, I'll do the full exhaust. Uh, stage two and a new cam and I'll tell you guys what I use. But in the meantime, uh, I have the Chromeworks slip-ons on. Let me just show you guys if anybody is actually interested in an exhaust. I actually two, I have two exhausts that right here, I actually have two exhausts that I need to get rid of. And these are brand new, still in the box, Chromeworks, two into two. It's not two into one. These are two into two. This one's Chrome and that one is Eclipse, which is the black Chrome. And just so you guys know, hit me up in an email. The email's down below in the video description. So you guys know, these are good for uh, all years from 2018 all the way to 2024 if fits. So if anybody is interested in either a two into two black chrome eclipse or a two into two uh, chrome. So if you guys are interested, just hit me up in the email. My email will be down below in the video description. And... Uh, I'll definitely get you uh, a good deal on the exhaust if you're looking for an exhaust. I, I was running the reducers on Mad Max. That was my previous bike on the two into one and it sounded absolutely amazing. But I just wanna hear, I wanna show you the baffles first and then what I'll do is we're gonna swap them out and I'll show you guys um, exactly how each one sounds. I think this will be a good test comparison. So this way you guys could hear how the different baffles actually sound. All three different baffles are going to uh, give you different power results because each one is going to have either less or more back pressure than the other. They're just gonna operate differently. So I guess it's just basically how you guys want it to uh, to sound. I used to run the louvered baffles on uh, Silverback. I had, um, that was a T-Man 130 motor, pushing out like 156 horsepower. And I was running the louvered baffles in that bike. But then on the two into one, I was running the reducers on Mad Max. And it sounded great. And so did the louvered baffles. I know a lot of my buddies, you know, that run the Chromeworks two into two exhaust, they're actually running the louvered baffles because they sound really good. So, you know, one sound might not be good for you and the other baffle might be better for you. So it's, it's all about kind of how you want it uh, to sound. So I'm just gonna get a socket over here. I think it's a half inch. And we're gonna take out these baffles and first we're gonna start off showing you guys actually how these baffles look. That's what I wanna show you first because that's, that's really interesting. And it's super easy. You only have two bolts that hold the end cap on. And then there's two bolts, 7 16 that hold the baffles in place. I'm gonna take that one out. All right, so I have that out. Actually, I'll put one bolt back in because I want I want to do a, a sound kind of a sound comparison for you guys. So I'll just put this one back in for now, temporarily. 
All right, guys, so this is, uh, I believe, the HP Power Plus baffle. As you guys can see, it's got like some perforations here just up in the front. The rest of the pipe is kind of solid, but then it has like this notch. So that actually, the exhaust actually goes in and kind of goes on the outside between the muffler housing and this baffle and then kind of gets pushed into this area. So that's one, all right? That's what I had in the bike now. I'll give you a little sound clip in a second. So now, this is the louvered baffle. It's fully open through the front to the back. And this one has like all perforations throughout the entire baffle. I just wanna go back to the H HP, uh, I believe it's called the HP Power Plus. If I'm mistaken, I'll put it down below. This one's actually kind of blocked, but I actually moved that little tab up a little bit. So actually you get some air exhaust pressure through, but that's how that looks because that's kind of pushed in. That's how it comes from the factory. So then these baffles, this is the reducer. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. This is the reducer and that's all it is. It just basically brings down that opening to a smaller diameter creating more back pressure. I, ha I was running these on Mad Max and it sounded incredible, incredible. But again, it's all about how you want it to sound. All right, so we're, I'm actually gonna put this one back in now. I think this will be a good, uh, like a sound test for you guys. I think you guys will appreciate this. So this way you guys know what, you know, you may want to purchase. Um, and, and honestly, I want to do it as well because I want to see which one sounds uh, the best. Also, just keep in mind, this is a stock bike. It's not, uh, there's no tuning, there's no cam, uh, aftermarket cam, I should say. There's no tuning on it, nothing. It's absolutely stock. So I'm going to start the bike up and uh, let's hear how this one sounds. <laughs> See, it's got a it's got a nice rumble. It's uh, definitely louder than stock. Uh, by no means is it loud. Um, obviously, it's not going to be super loud unless you know you install or I should say replace the head pipe and 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 remove you know what you know. So that's what actually makes it an exhaust really loud. Um, having the catalytic converter um, in the bike. It's just, it just quiets everything down so much. So now, and these are so easy to replace. Okay, so that's, that's that. That's the HP Power Plus, I believe. Um, so now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put the reducers in and show you guys how that sounds super easy to put in um yeah so again i don't know if uh, if i said it already but i'll say it again if anybody is interested in that uh either one the two into two um exhaust just let me know hit me up in a in an email and um you know we could we could talk about it but i'll definitely give you a good price they are like i said brand brand new still in the box never opened okay we're gonna put that on right now Okay, let's, uh, let's start it up. Let's see what happens. Okay, it sounds definitely, yeah, it's definitely a little deeper, I would say. Okay, it's definitely a little deeper, not much louder. And again, it's only a stock bike, so, you know, let's not get crazy and start blowing up the uh, <laughs> comment section. 
saying that ah oh, it's 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 not loud you need a full exhaust yeah i understand that we're just we're just doing a comparison on a stock bike stock head pipe and just different baffles on these four and a half inch uh, chromeworks mufflers another thing is too these mufflers just look so good the quality um you know the quality is there chromeworks always has great quality and also their, their customer service is fantastic. All right, so now we're gonna put in these louvered baffles. Now let's see, let's see how that goes. What's cool too is, uh, you know, a lot of mufflers, you can't change out the baffles. So another reason why you may wanna change out the baffles is because of your horsepower or power needs right so like one every single baffle that I just showed you guys is going to produce a different amount of, of power and torque so depending on you know what you're looking for you know you could change them out that's what's cool about it as well it's like I said you know some some mufflers you can't you can't change out the baffle it is what it is you know you get what you get. Okay, so look how simple that is. Three different baffles in a couple minutes. Let's see how this sounds. Nice. They all sound, honestly, they all sound fairly the same because still it's so restricted here in the head pipe, obviously. You're only going to get it so loud. The only other way, obviously, to make it um, a lot louder is if you really had some, some thin pipes, but then the flow wouldn't be good. You know, but that's why, like, you know, a lot of the older Harleys, especially twin cams with the really small diameter exhaust, you know, uh, no cat in them. They just sound absolutely insane, you know, because you got all that, all that back pressure shooting out of that pipe. Um, it's like almost like a, a, a blower. When you have a big blower opening, you're not really going to have a, a strong force. But if you narrow that, uh, if you narrow that opening down, uh, that force is going to be really concentrated and generated uh, to, you know, the velocity is going to increase because it has to escape, creating obviously the back pressure. But I think the louvered baffles may sound the best, but uh, again, I'm not sure. Um, it, they all kind of sound the same to me. What, let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I, I, I would say that the louvered baffles might be the, uh, the loudest. Um, I'm gonna leave the HP Power Plus in it for now. Um, I was told from Chromeworks that it actually produces the most uh, horsepower and torque on a stock bike. So I'm going to just leave those in per their recommendation because they still sound actually uh, good, decent for a stock exhaust. But to really get these things loud, like I said, you would, you would need to change the head pipe and get a full exhaust like the ones that I have um, in the shed. But I did, uh, I'm editing right now, actually. I did, uh, we did a 300 mile trip into PA uh, with the club and Cam came along. We really had a good time. And I'm editing that right now. The bike sounded really good and it had actually good power uh, for stock. It actually really ran nice. So I'm just gonna leave these in for now. A lot of people are asking me what what exhaust I'm gonna be running when I get to stage two. I'm not sure yet as of right now. 
I'm really not sure. Still looking into it. I, I think I know the cam that I want, but I want to keep that a surprise for you guys. So just stay tuned for that. The tuning should be in place probably in the next several weeks. So I'm really looking forward to that. And, uh, but to be honest with you guys, I'm, I'm dead honest. Uh, I'm not kidding. It was such a pleasure, a joy to ride this bike with a stock exhaust, well, fairly stock, right? Just with slip-ons on, on our trip that we just did the 300 miles. I could hear myself think, I could actually hear uh, whether it was the radio or, the, uh, or my speakers in my helmet. And that's what I really, really enjoyed. You know, a loud, a loud exhaust, don't get me wrong, I love it, right? But a lot of people say, oh, you, know, you need a loud exhaust. But honestly, those are people, don't let them fool you, those are people that don't ride a lot. And that's just, the, uh, that's just the honest truth. They just don't ride a lot. Because if you do really, really long trips like I do, whether it's a thousand miles in a day or more, or you know, six, 7,000 miles to Sturgis, we're gonna probably be doing 11,000 miles on our cross country trip here in a couple months. If you do those long trips, I'm telling you, you, got, you know what I'm talking about. Your ears are just, ringing when you get off that bike at night and think about doing that every single day for 30 days straight which we plan on so i i i might i might leave this bike in its stock form meaning you know stock power i might do the stage two after i come back from that long trip i honestly might I'm definitely gonna do the bars because I want the comfort. I'm definitely gonna do the bars before we leave. As far as the exhaust, man, I'm telling you. And it's not, it's not because I'm getting older. You could joke all you want. It's just because it's just the truth. You know, the loud, a loud bike, yeah, sounds friggin' awesome, but do you really wanna listen to that exhaust buzzing and humming in your ears? You know, for 30 days straight, 11,000 miles. I don't, because I've been there, done that with several of my bikes, including Silverback and Mad Max. And it's just, sometimes, you know, you do a six, 700 mile day, you get to the hotel. You can't, you can't hear for a good portion of the night because your ears are ringing. Another problem is with uh, wind. That's why you need a tall windshield because this windshield, honestly, it's, it's, uh, it's a nice looking windshield. It's good for a stock windshield because it looks good on the bike, but it doesn't do anything as far as wind deflection. It's, it's horrible. That's why I can't wait to get a taller one from, from uh, Clockworks, uh, but they're all out of them now. So we have to wait for that. So I hope you guys understand kind of, kind of you know, what I'm talking about. As, uh, as, far as, as far as the noise goes, I think I just want a quiet bike um, to go on the trip. I'm gonna change out the bars. We have something cool from Memphis Shades here in a couple days I'm gonna show you. And the windshield, we'll change out the bars, windshield. And I, I, I'm like 99%, 95 to 99% sure that I'm gonna probably leave the bike stock until I come back because I just, I, I, I really enjoyed the quietness and you can hear that, you know, a lot of people say, oh, put in earplugs. Well, I don't wanna wear earplugs, you know, for 16 hours on the bike every single day. I just don't want that. And then, you know, you have problem listening to the music. You can't hear it because you got the damn earplugs in. You, you, you follow what I'm saying? So I just want the 11,000 mile trip. And that's, that's huge. Like some people don't even do that, honestly, in 10 years on their bike. We're gonna be doing that in probably 30 days, so that's crazy. So I think, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then what else? Uh, yeah, windshield, bars. Uh, we're gonna be doing different floorboards and uh, foot controls and the passenger pegs. I need some, I gotta get some, ow, that hurt. 
<laughs> I touched the side of the pipe. Shorts. There's another burn. Um, I got to get some docking hardware so I could put my uh, rack on with my Rick Rack bag. And this sat on this seat I'm definitely going to use for the long trip because I have the backrest for it. But I do have another seat. Uh, I know some of you guys said, yes, yeah, Saddleman seat's awesome, but this doesn't really, isn't going to match my kind of style. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting a step up tuck and roll. So don't worry. This seat is for the long trip. So this way I have uh, comfort. And this, a lot of people said, oh, it takes a thousand miles to break these seats in. I don't know. I don't get it. I mean, I was on the first long distance trip, uh, 300 miles past weekend. Seat is fine. It's super comfortable. You know why it's good is because it's a lot wider. So um, it spreads out the uh, ass pressure <laughs> over a greater distance on your butt, right? Instead of having a narrower seat, right? <clears throat> uh, that's gonna obviously not feel so good after five, six, a thousand miles uh, in a day. So other than that, um, like I said, we got something cool from F of Shades and um, we're, we're gonna put heated grips on obviously. But other than that, I'm probably just gonna keep it like it is. And then when I come back from the trip, that's when we're, we are definitely going to do the stage two and the exhaust, the cam, the dyno tune, all of that. And this thing, I'm telling you, this thing's gonna scream 117 and this 117 motor has more power than the previous years. So we're, we should be able to get some really, really good numbers. I'm probably thinking like somewhere in the 120s range as far as horsepower and probably in the 130 range uh, uh, for torque. So that's, that's a really good amount of power, fellas. You don't need more than that. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep it a stage two because I really don't wanna go through that whole rigmarole where I have to um, add another cooler or do a chain drive or really beef up uh, you know, the clutch system again. I just, I don't wanna do that anymore. I'm just gonna keep this build a little more modest, a little more light, focus on the aesthetics of the bike and how it looks, adding a lot of chrome uh, bling to the bike. That's what we're gonna do. And um, it, it'll be good for you guys because it'll be maybe some, maybe a lot of, a lot of people, maybe a lot of you guys don't wanna spend the money. And I totally understand that, you know, you got a uh, family, some, you know, small kids, uh, a big board kit might not be um, the best place to uh, put the money in, right? Um, that's just how it is. So uh, we're gonna do a, a, a lighter build, a lighter uh, lighter build on this one, on Blackjack. I love that name, Blackjack. And that's it, fellas, all right? I hope this video will help you guys out a little bit. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. I'm gonna go take a ride because it's absolutely gorgeous out. <laughs>